This is a Georgian appetizer called tzatziki. It's made out of chicken and walnut sauce. This is the ready to eat tzatziki and we actually made this yesterday. So from now on I'm going to be explaining how to make this dish. First things first, as the dish we're making today is a Georgian cold appetizer made from chicken. It is obviously important to have chicken in this dish. So we have boiled the chicken in water, added a lot of salt to make it very salty and added a bay leaf and boil until it was cooked properly. So the next step is to prepare all the necessary ingredients which are walnuts, onions and garlic. We are using about one, one whole garlic today, two onions and 400 grams of walnuts. For garlic you have to press it first before you can use it. We have pressed the garlic. I'm going to be introducing the spices we're going to be using today. So the spices we're using is saffron here. Then we're going to be using fenugreek and coriander powder and just a little bit of chili powder. We have divided the chicken into small pieces without bones. We have taken out the bones out of the chicken. However, in Georgia, for example, mostly they, um, they leave the bones and they leave the skin. That's how they make the dish. But since we don't want to get messy with the bones when eating the dish, we have made it this way. Next step is to put walnuts into this processor and make it into a powder. We're mixing up the walnuts and seeing how they are. It's perfect if they are a bit sticky because of the oil that is in the walnuts. And then we add spices. So this is saffron, which is a little bit less than a teaspoon. We add the saffron to the walnuts. Then we're adding the coriander. Which is about two teaspoons. The next thing is the fenugreek. <laughs> we add about two, two teaspoons. Then just a tiny bit of chili powder just to add some nice taste to it. And then we process this whole thing again. While processing, time to time, you mix it up a bit and process again. In the end, we will need to add one egg yolk so we have prepared it so that we can use it when we need it the pan and now we're going to start cooking the onions until they become transparent. Onion is getting transparent. It should be ready soon. Now that the onion is ready, we turn off the flame. So the next thing to do is to add the stock. We have made the very salty one. We add it into the onion. We add the walnuts with the spices and we see how thick the sauce is going to be and depending on that we either add more stock or we just keep cooking. So now we're just mixing it. So it's a bit too thick so we're adding more of the stock. Added more of the stock and we're just mixing to make sure there are no crumbles and remember and there is no flame, we're doing it without the flame first. And the next thing we do is add that yolk from the egg and mix it up. So we mixed it well. We put on the flame again, a small one. Okay, we make sure it's not too strong. And just wait until before it starts boiling. Remember, you're not supposed to boil this. And you just have to constantly stir and make sure that it's becoming thicker. 
because you can see as we're mixing the sauce and cooking it there's actually a lot of stock left today so we can also use it to cook soup um, as you're cooking it if you think it's not salty enough you can also add a bit of salt while, while you're stirring the sauce you can see there are bubbles now which means it's beginning to boil so here we actually have to stop the flame we don't wait until it boils so we stop the flame you can see it thickened quite a lot the stock has mixed up with the walnuts pretty well so because we have a lot of sauce today we have divided the chicken into two bowls and we're going to be making these two bowls of satsiri so we add the sauce inside the bowls Mix it up a bit, the sauce with the chicken, then what's the chicken, what's going to happen is that the chicken is actually going to be soaked, soaked in sauce and it's going to be very delicious. And you have to wait until this sauce with the chicken cools down, after which you can put this dish into the fridge and cover it with the plastic wrap and put it in the fridge until tomorrow. So now it's noon. On Saturday we're going to wait until Sunday morning and that's when it's going to be the best by taste. This dish is very nice if you are expecting guests the next day and you want something special. This is a very nice use, uh, dish that uses nice combination of spices. So yes, thank you very much for watching this video and please enjoy.